Hi everyone. Although suspensions will often sound and resolve over the same beat, occasionally the resolution is delayed to resolve later. The point to remember with any suspension is they must contain three elements. The preparation, which is typically consonant, the suspension, which is dissonant, and the resolution, which is again consonant. In the following excerpt from a prelude by J.S. Bach, the texture comprises one part in running 16th notes, which contains the theme, and two or three other parts, typically moving in longer note values against it. The parts written in longer note values also contain a number of suspensions. Here, for example, the A from the previous beat sounds as the preparation of a 4-3 suspension over the secondary dominant to the dominant of D major. During the Baroque, certain 7th chord sonorities were acceptable, therefore, although this preparation forms a 7th above this B minor chord, it can here be considered consonant. This chord then can be heard either as the submedian 7th of D major, or as the borrowed supertonic 7th of A major, the key to which the secondary dominant chord belongs. In this instance, the suspension sounds and resolves over the same quarter note beat. In the following bar, this F sharp is prepared as a consonant third over tonic D major harmony. It then becomes a dissonant seventh over this G bass note and resolves as a sixth, again over G on the last quarter note beat of the bar. The final harmony may be heard as an A dominant seventh chord and four to inversion, while the harmony containing the suspension is an incomplete supertonic chord and first inversion. Here the supertonic's root note is displaced by the suspension so that it sounds over the following dominant chord. Beginning the third bar, the fifth and third degrees of the preceding A dominant seventh chord are sustained and sound over this F sharp bass note. The E forms a dissonant seventh with the F sharp, while the sustained C sharp forms a consonant fifth. Harmonically, these quarter note beats sound as tonic D major harmony in first inversion, and the dissonant E resolves as a sixth to the tonic's root note. The C sharp, which is consonant with the F sharp bass note, is dissonant with D major harmony, and must therefore be heard as a retardation of D major's leading note, which also resolves to D on the second quarter note beat of the bar. Here, although not dissonant with the F sharp bass note, the C sharp still behaves as a suspension, which has been embellished using part of the theme, and which resolves correctly both as the third of dominant harmony and as a retardation. Here then is an example of a suspension which is not dissonant with the bass note, the third of tonic harmony, but is dissonant with D major's root note. Bach completes this bar by harmonizing these beats of the theme in a similar way to his previous treatment in bar 1, with the D preparation here sounding as a 7th over supertonic E minor harmony, and the suspension and resolution both sounding over dominant harmony. In the following bar, D major's leading note is prepared over dominant A major harmony to sound as a 7th over the following D note in the bass. This D note sounds as part of an apparent submediant B minor harmony. In this instance, however, because of the uncommon resolution of the suspended leading note, here as in bar 1, the B minor chord should probably be heard as a supertonic of A major, which then moves to the dominant and tonic chords of that key. I hope you found this useful. Thanks for watching. See you next time.